assault comes as three guns were found at Rock Hill schools in just the last few weeks. But tonight, the York County Sheriff says he is glad they were found because it means the searches are working. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is joining us now live from the Rock Hill School District office. And Will, the issue of metal detectors was brought up tonight at that meeting. And is that going to happen at the school district soon? Well, Brian, we can say not yet, but that could change. Right now, the Rock Hill Schools District is leaning on camera technology, 37 officers, and random checks to keep weapons out of schools. In a week, three guns were found on school campuses in the Rock Hill School District. One fell out of the pants of a 14-year-old student at Dutchman Creek Middle School. The student picked up the gun and pointed it at another student. I can sit here and say... Uh, the Rock Hill School District and the schools are safe. Uh, there's a world we live in that there are dangers out there. Concerns are growing across the district, so a safety meeting attended by law enforcement helped calm some fears and inform the community of what's being done. York County Sheriff Kevin Tolson talked about active shooter training. In the first portion of the training that we Ran was a scenario where they were the first officer on scene and we made them go to the threat immediately, not waiting for backup. District officials say there is a mix of 37 armed and unarmed officers in the schools. Camera technology and random safety checks will continue. It's going to take all of us. It's going to take a, a vigilant eye. It's going to, if you see something, say something. That's some part of our community that we're fighting now is people are less likely to stand up and say they've seen something. They're afraid to quote unquote snitch. The hour long meeting left parents with mixed emotions because more can be done. I feel like they're doing the best they can right now. I feel like a lot of what they're doing is proactive and not reactive. I feel better about their actions. Um, as a parent, you're always going to worry. Yeah, there are some concerns still, but parents say they're going to wait to see what other safety measures are implemented by the district. They say they know it also will take more than a week to address all the concerns. We're live in Rock Hill. Will Lewis, Queen City News.